Um, what advice could you give uh, to people registering this semester, and uh, are there any false accusations with the registering process? Well, yes, I'd like to answer a couple of comments that were made. Um, first, about the registration appointments and how we do that. Actually, we don't do them alphabetically most of the time. I keep a, a chart that tells me uh, what I did last, and last year I sorted by birthday. And sometimes I, one semester I'll sort, um, where it, starting with January, then the next semester I'll sort starting with December, then another semester I'll sort. Uh, by social security number and I always flip it so that people don't fall in the same sequence each time. So everybody has a chance at having a, a earlier an appointment time. And long lines. Um, they really are non-existent except maybe your first year students when it gets to the end. But we, we don't think anybody has to wait more than 10 or 15 minutes. And if you come early you might even get in just a little bit early if you come about five minutes early. The main thing is to plan ahead though. If you come with uh, second choices and even third choices, you will have courses that you need to take. And in addition to that, we have advisors who are there to help you, most from almost every department who can help you find another course. Most seniors have told me they really like our process, unlike some places where they're doing it online and you're in your room in the middle of the night, there's nobody there to help you. We have people right there who can help you, who can open a closed class, who can help you switch things around so you're not on your own, and we're there to help. Thanks.